Hi Internet, it's Dreadog, and uh, I'm back with a, uh, a kind of a special unboxing video. Um, this one is going to be another uh, Ultra Sabres unboxing, but it's also going to be um, uh, showing some um, progress on my uh, lightsaber cane project. Um, so I um, got the box, very excited to, to see, as usual, both the, uh, the Mystery Saber and the, uh, the blade. So, uh, typical pack of cards. And so what I've done here is I ordered three oh, heavy duty blades. Oh, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. At least it's not the popcorn this time. Um, and uh, pull these out uh, to be custom cut in size. And they do seem to be that. Um, they do seem to be shorter than normal. Um, and also we'll pull those out. Pull, 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 pull. Still pulling. There is our mystery saber. And empty box. Okay, the box is empty. So, um, let's see, there is the next saber and the other custom saber. So these are custom uh, cuts. I'll come back to you in a second. Uh, these are the custom cut sabers. Three uh, different lengths for three different sabers. Um, and yeah, they look they look they look great. Um, I'm just gonna pop one out right quick just so that we can verify one of the tricks here that their support team told me that I need to make sure that the the tips are not glued on, um, which is super good advice. So once we've done that, we'll move on to the uh, the unboxing of the mystery saber, and then I'm gonna do a separate video, kind of showing the uh, the cane sabers going together, um, and show you some of the things that we've learned. Um, so let's come down here and let's see. Yep, Kim's look at this spinning right off. Look at that, we're perfect, we're golden. This is gonna be awesome. So uh, next video, cannot wait to do this. Um, so been so excited for this project. Had this idea as soon as they told me about the surgery and uh, I'm really excited to, uh, to uh, uh, actually be putting this together. Um, uh, and been excited to walk around with the uh, lightsaber cane. It's so cool. Um, and a big, again, shout out to uh, Falcon Cosplay who, who helped me who helped provide a bunch of guidance to me on this um, on this project. But let's uh, let's get this mystery box open. So uh, trying to cut through all the bubble wrap. Um, a lot of a lot of bubble wrap. Crinkle, 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 crinkle. All right. As always, recommend. A pair of scissors when you're doing these because there will be stuff to cut. So another standard uh, 36. This is a standard 36 inch blade. Um, so I've got a few of these. Um, so I'm not going to unwrap that one because I think we all know what to expect out of that. It's a blade. And now let's see what we have here. Um, so sound scorpion with N-I-A-V. Uh, okay, this is empty. Scorpion is interesting. It's got a very interesting feel to it. We have to remove the tab. Um, this is a saber with sound, which is my preference. Cut it out. I'm still not familiar enough with all the models that uh, Ultra Sabers makes to know um, if I should be excited by this or not, it feels heavy. It's a big saber. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Now that is a big saber. Uh, that is... And of course, my first thought is, huh, I could turn that into a cane. It's got a good pommel. Um, but it's got a spike pommel. Uh, it's got some real interesting detail work. Really big, hefty uh, emitter. Um, let's go ahead and get the... Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, Get it powered on. So it's like, 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 oh, the speaker's way up in there. Well, let's make sure we need to do this. Yep, gotta do this. Okay. So we give it some shakes, smack it against our hand to get it to come down a bit. 
definitely did some settling. It is definitely coming. I'm going to uh, quickly do a uh, quick pause on the editing break because I don't think there's anything more exciting than watching somebody with a lightsaber on their hand for three minutes until the battery comes out. So I'll pause and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so I figured out how to pull up the battery and pull up the tab. Um, it was not as obvious as I thought. So your first instinct may be to unscrew this bottom piece here, which would be very similar to how um, other uh, Ultra Sabers sabers work. However, you'll notice that there's this kind of uh, a collar choke point here, and this is where you really want to do it. So you want to actually pull off this whole piece here, um, and that gives easy access. I couldn't figure out for life for me why the battery pack was stuck uh, basically up here, and then I finally kind of realized what it is. In the meantime, I was able to do a little bit more research and, and understand a little bit more about what we have here. Um, also had um, the big one um, come in and unpack the sword, the blade for us. So let's uh, let's get that in there so that we can fire her up. Um, so blade retention screw. So this is a scorpion. Um, it is a scorpion without a claw. So if you go to Ultra Saber's website, they do sell a version um, that has a big uh, claw stick and it's actually pretty cool looking. Um, this is not uh, that version. It's um, the one without. Uh, no price difference. I may actually see if that's a part that I can order because I kind of like the claw better. And now that I looked at it on their website and have been like, oh yeah, that one. Now I'm like, oh, well, you know, actually, I, I had liked this one, but I, I really preferred the claw. Um, I like my big spiky bits. Um, I think it makes it a little bit more menacing, not that this isn't already a fairly menacing uh, saber in general. So uh, tighten up the blade, and then we'll fire up, go through the colors. Um, I did confirm when I pulled the tab out that it is a uh, obsidian light board. Um, again, the AA batteries are a dead giveaway, the lack of port. Um, again, this is fine. It's standard lightsaber cells. That's perfect. Um, so fire it up. So it's a bright green. You grab a piece of paper here so you can see that on the paper. Uh, it is their consular green color. Uh, really nice. Um, the windows are really cool. So I'll go through the, some of the details here. Again, in the emitter, uh, we've got uh, lots, lots of windows showing the green through, and then on the front of the saber, these three windows as well. So it gives it a really nice, bright feel to it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Um, nice aluminum uh, collar here, and then some really great detailing. So this is a this this these markings are super cool. Um, this cutout is really nice, uh, and again, it's reflected behind the button as well. So this is um, a uh, standard collared. Uh, um, sorry, I'm just looking up because I want to get the term right. This is a um, silver non-illuminated AV switch. Uh, this is the protected kind. Um, so it doesn't come on. It doesn't have any lights on it. That's fine. Also, no flash on flash. Um, so again, it's a standard obsidian uh, saber. Let's do one more test real quick. So we do get the the clashing. Um, just no, no lock up or any effects like that. Uh, nice ridge hilt, so it gives you a nice stability when holding it. Uh, cover tech clip. Um, I have been told that my accent is, is turning that into COVID tech. It's, co it's a cover tech clip. Um, nice and secure to put on your belt. And then again, a uh, very nice wicked pommel, um, apparently carried over from some of their other lines. So really nice uh, saber, um, super hefty. As usual, um, got some weight to it. Uh, very cool looking. Um, and, and again, it was, as always, these are always nice surprises. Um, it's you know, uh, the the value of this sword priced out on their website is two hundred forty four dollars. Again, can't exactly remember um, which I paid for this. I want to say this was um, this may have been the two hundred dollar one. Um, I tend to go that way with the sound. Um, though I think when I was putting these blade orders in, I was trying to keep it kind of cheap. Um, bought a lot of lightsabers recently, so we need to kind of watch that. Um, um, but still, a really nice saber. Um, I definitely find some use for it. It'll look great on the wall. It's got a great look to it again, and I, I'm I think definitely when I put my next order, if they offer that claw as a separate piece, I would uh, I would definitely order it up. So um, in the meantime, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. 
Um, as always, feel, please feel free to leave comments for me on Twitter at, at Darth Dreadog. Uh, feel free to get me on uh, slash r slash lightsabers. I'm also posting to uh, some of the Facebook groups as well. Um, and I'll also post this to the Ultra Sabers, uh, saberforum.com, because um, those guys are great and, and always have uh, great feedback and great thoughts to share with me. So uh, again, I hope you, hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for your time.